Hello, I'm Roshan Doug. I work with education management in devising strategies and frameworks for assessing policy and practice in schools and colleges. Melanie asked me to say a few words uh, about a white paper I was asked to write on the importance of developing pupils' handwriting skills as a way of developing their educational attainment. The paper was commissioned by BIC, the pen company who had a few months previously uh, seen an anecdotal article I had written in the Times Educational Supplement about my experience of acquiring English as a second language. My brief was to synthesise some of the findings on handwriting and to make uh, recommendations for policymakers on why it's important to integrate handwriting into the curriculum. The paper was entitled Handwriting, Developing Pupils' Cognitive Skills and Identity and was eventually published in the International Journal of Education and Literacy Studies. Although it was a relatively short paper, about 8,000 words, with heavy reference to other studies, it did extrapolate a number of key strands and findings that were common in many recent studies. What I discovered was the following. Number one, conventional writing aids well-being and good mental health. The process of writing regular entries in journal, reflections and thoughts can help to bring about um, clarity and order. Hence, its prominent use in child, child psychiatry, counselling and rehabilitation. Within this process, one becomes connected with the specific recollections and ideas. The pen becomes the archaeological tool to excavate past experience. As Seamus Heaney wrote in his poem, Death of a Naturalist, between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests snug as a gun. I'll dig with it. I like that metaphor of a pen as a spade. Writing also aids self-assessment and reflective practice. This is evident in many professions and even in our own. Training teachers are often asked to keep a diary of their teaching practice in order to evaluate their performance and to learn from their experience. It helps to make improvement and progress. Similarly, students often rewrite notes for revision as a way of helping them to remember a set of formulas or knowledge or contents for assessment and exam purposes. Finally, we also came across what many studies refer to as orthographic motor memory skills. These are skills that many people of my generation have learned. Things like memorising spelling by writing a word over and over again until the movement, the patterns and the muscular stresses of the wrist becomes automated and embedded in your mind. To such an extent that you are able to write a word without even thinking about the actual letters. This, uh, the purpose of this, of course, is to help you to uh, write a wide range of vocabulary without uh, spending too long on thinking about the actual spelling. The report then concluded with recommendations. The first recommendation we made was that formal teaching of handwriting skills should continue into secondary school. Although at the moment handwriting is taught in primary school for at least the first two years, it is discarded completely when pupils enter secondary school. Yet it could be argued that that is where our young people need most practice 
since our examination system is largely based on handwritten exam papers. Very few assessments are done with the Word uh, documents and keyboards. Secondly, teacher training should give more prominence to handwriting because it's a skill common in all subjects. A student who doesn't do very well in English is very likely to do similarly in other subjects which require uh, his use of uh, English and vocabulary. Finally, we need to see more investment in research, training and teaching resources. At the moment, we only have isolated ad hoc studies, but there's no definitive paper or a report that could spearhead education policy and push us into developing formalised training and resources. So there is a lot of work that needs to be done in this area, but hopefully in the next few years we will see more focus on this area, especially handwriting. Thank you for watching.